point. Two Modest Yahoo con concerts canceled in the U.S. amid outcry from pro-Palestinian protester. Jewish singer who has been vocal in his support for Israel since the beginning of the war criticizes venues for caving to anti-Semitic pressure. Now, it's uh, a... <sighs> The word anti-Semitic itself, I, you know, I, I agree, shit can, people can be anti-Semitic, right? Um, but I feel like it's always used in the, it's, it, 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 well, lately, or sometimes, I shouldn't say always, I'm talking out of term here, sometimes words like anti-Semitic or uh, vax, uh, 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 what was it, anti-vaxxer or, or Trump supporter, or or any of these things. Sometimes these phrases are used to shut down conversations. And um, racist, right? Sometimes that's used to shut down conversations. So I don't know if it's anti-Semitic for these uh, venues to cancel. I think they were put under a lot of pressure from very vocal people who, you know, who, who are probably making threats and shit. Let's read the article and see what's going on. I'm just saying that just to keep in mind, it's like, hey, sometimes these words are used to, to, to shut down a conversation, to, to, uh, you know, disqualify someone for speaking about something. So going into any article, as soon as I see keywords like that, I'm just like, okay, I'm putting on my observation glasses and I'm observing and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what they have to say about this. Okay. So two concerts by, of, uh, by Maas Yahoo, an American Jewish singer famous for his peacetime anthem one day have been canceled after pro-Palestinian protesters targeted venues where he was set to perform. Uh, Meow Wolf terrible name, uh, in Santa Fe, New Mexico, canceled one concert on Wednesday and the Rialto Theater in Tuscan, Arizona, Tucson, canceled a second on Thursday after say after first saying it would not do so. So it, it buckled under pressure. The, the venue buckled under pressure. Can you imagine? Both venues cited staffing shortages and safety concerns. Both had been targeted by protesters who said Modest Yahoo's record of performing for Israeli soldiers and pro-Israel groups in the United States should disqualify him from appearing. Again, he is a Jewish dude. Of course he's going to support Israel. Why wouldn't he? Like, that's just... Uh, and, and that's the problem with... The side that's taken up the pro-Palestinian side is it tends to be the side uh, that claims to be very tolerant, but very intolerant when it becomes a subject that they disagree with. So, of course, a Jewish man is going to stick up for Israel. Of course, there's plenty of Jewish people who are against Israel. And that's OK, too. Right. Like, it's OK to have differing opinions. That's what I hate about this cancel culture bullshit. Both, uh, oh yeah, Modest Yahoo said in a statement posted to X that he had offered to pay for additional staffing and security at the Rialto show, but had been rebuffed. They do this because they are either anti-Semitic, which again, I don't like that sound. That's important. That's an important point. Yes, I agree. Uh, they do this because they are either anti-Semitic or have confusion... Uh, confuse their empathy for Palestinian for oh let's start that again friends they do this because they are either anti-semitic or have confused their empathy for the Palestinian people with hatred for someone like me who builds empathy for both Israelis and Palestinians he wrote about those uh, who had sought to cancel the show it truly is a sad day when dialogue with those you disagree with is abandoned for hate mongering and silencing artistic expression. Now there has been, uh, there has been sort of uh, this hate mongering that's going on, and you see it especially at the universities. We saw this. What was it last year? Where the uh, where Harvard, where there was Jewish students being harassed. These Jewish kids are have nothing to do with what happened on on October seventh. And yet they're being harassed. There, there was violence. They're being, uh, you know, it, it was crazy. Like it's their fault. Their existence is 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 making uh, Palestinians, uh, you know, die by the thousands uh, from from bombings that the United States supports. 
It's gross. It's ridiculous. It, you find a more constructive way to fucking to express yourself like, instead of going and physically attacking Jewish kids. Like, it's so fucking stupid. Now, I get that people are upset, right? And people have the the right to be upset about what they're seeing over there. Um, especially I know for like a couple of weeks, there was just my whole timeline was just full of dead children, uh, being pulled out of the Gaza, uh, out of Gaza. And, um, you know, that's really upsetting. Obviously no one wants to see that happening. And I realize it's a response. It's a wartime response. Uh, but damn, you know, we're up to about 40,000 people who are being murdered right now. And, <sighs> It's obviously a difficult topic, but I'm for peace. I'm going to always be for peace. I don't care what anybody says. It, there is a peaceful solution going forward. I think the most uh, I think even most Palestinians would have been okay with Israel if it didn't continue to expand in their country. And and that's that's the other side of this, right? Uh Primo, that's the other side of this conversation is like, "Hey, Israel is not without fault here." Israel has, besides, you know, 75, 80 years ago, just sort of landing in the middle of this place that was predominantly, uh, you know, had Palestinians occupying the space and then had the international community come help and wipe out and move a bunch of people out of that space. Look, they won the war. I don't even want to go there. They won the war. Israel makes the rules now in that area of their land, of their land. Now, when you see the map of them expanding out into these occupied territories and you have American, uh, is uh, Israeli Americans and, and Jewish Americans going over there with their guns and kicking people off their land. Now that's a problem. And, and that's something that the international community, which kind of created this mess should have probably had a, a, a better, hold on this and a, a little bit more influence on what was going on over there. Now, we've gone over the history of all this shit, so we don't have to get into that. But uh, really, it's about this, this, this article is about people not allowing other people to speak when that is exactly what this country is built on, is allowing people to express themselves how they want to express themselves, especially a Jewish man. Of course, he's going to want to support his homeland. It's a mess and very poorly understood in general. Absolutely, prim uh, Primo. It, it's definitely just, it, it, there's so much to it. And again, I'm one of those, you know, cursory, uh, people who have a cursory understanding of what's sort of happening over there and the history of it. I have friends I've talked to. I have, uh, my brother-in-law has been to Israel and has seen and experienced the apartheid that was sort of happening there. Um, you know, so uh, I know people who went to high school in Israel who, you know, I played music with and, and, you know, they lost people over there. So it's fucked up, man. It's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing, but there is there, but there was, or is a, a really fucked up situation over there that something needs to change. Something needs to change. Um, he will instead play a free show in Tucson for hundreds of people, which is very nice. Uh, the concert's cancellations add to the growing number of incidents in which Jewish and pro-Israel athletes and celebrities have had appearances scuttled and threatened to be canceled amid fierce criticism by pro-Palestinian activists more than four months into the Israel-Hamas war that begun October 7th when Hamas attacked Israel. Uh, Manas Yahu is a Jewish musician, had his performance canceled simply because of anti-Israel staffers boycotted uh, his appearance, which had nothing to do with Israel, a textbook example of anti-Zionism morphing into anti-Semitism. Again, that word gets thrown around a lot. Um, so here is what Modest Yahoo put out. Uh, to my fans, my band and I should have played a sold-out show at Meow Wolf in Santa Fe last night, and we were excited for tonight's show at the Rialto Theater in Tucson. Instead, the staff of these venues refused to come to work, forcing cancellations. Without our permission or approval, the venue in Santa Fe misinformed our fans canceling the show due to security concerns when the only concern was a group of, st uh, a group of staff unwilling to work my show. Tonight in Tucson, we have 
have offered to supplement their staff shor shortages on our own dime, but to no avail. They do this because they are either anti-Semitic or have confused their empathy for the Palestinian people with hatred for someone like me who holds empathy for both Israel Israelis and Palestinians. Which you can have empathy for both, right? It can't, you don't have to choose a side. You can see why both sides are upset. You can see it. You can have more of a nuanced understanding of it, but it's no, it's either this or that. And that's what I fucking hate about this whole culture of, uh, of, of this cancel culture and how people just like, there's no middle ground. And if you do sort of hold stake in the middle, you get labeled a fucking extremist on the other side. Like, <laughs> I'm a very liberal human being, but and I have empathy for both sides. I think Israel should exist. I think that fucking Palestine should exist. We should have existence as two people co you know like they there should be we should be able to coexist on this planet that was we inherited. You know like it's not even it's not even really ours, right? It's like uh, it, none, no piece of this land is truly you know, ours, it, it's, it's going to exist here after we're gone. It's, it's just so meaningless to fucking fight over these borders. Um, we were talking about Maz Yahoo a few days ago. Hey, Robbie, welcome in. Killing is wrong. Uh, humans should stop finding a reason to do so. Yeah, but I don't think, I, I think that is innately human. That's the problem. It's innately human to, to want control and power and, and, and to, you know, rule over others it's why you have these young kids who are who who feel disenfranchised by their, their their country like the United States they they feel like they don't really have a future they they see what's going on they, they they have these degrees that don't matter and they can't get a job and they're living in these congested cities that fuck they can barely afford they're scraping by and you find that you're just this, you know, mouse running the rat race. And then all of a sudden you have a community in, uh, you know, being pro-Palestinian, right? You have a community and people listen to you. And then all of a sudden you have a voice and all of a sudden now you have power, right? And now all of a sudden you can dictate whether or not Modest Yahoo plays at this venue or not. Now people are feeling like they're finding some sort of reason to go on in this fucking this, this fucking dystopian fucked up country that we're building right now um which you know again i love this country but god damn we are getting we're getting served right now um let's see what's going on i am surprised to see you on this time you take the day oh i see governments and stuff uh governments do stuff the populace doesn't support meant to say gotcha i went in for a bit and offered time off Oh, do you guys work together? Um, it truly is a sad day when dialogue with those you disagree with is abandoned for hate mongering and silencing artistic expression. I feel that. I feel you, Maz Yahoo. I, I, I am with that 100%. My band and I will keep moving forward always. We will perform songs that celebrate unity, peace, and perseverance. And we will connect with our fans through the sacredness of shared music, which has always brought people together. Unfortunately, it seems that more and more people are choosing to cast their lot with actions that tear people apart. Exactly. Ah, I got you. I got you. Thanks, guys. Uh, tearing down posters of kidnapped children does not bring peace. Chanting genocidal slogans at Jews does not bring peace. Preventing fans of all ethnic and religious backgrounds from singing together in Santa Fe or Tucson does not bring peace. In fact, it does the opposite. It may make some people feel good to express anger publicly in hopes that they will obscure the hypocrisy of us Americans uh, Americans living on actual colonized land taken through an actual genocide of Native Americans. But I refuse to succumb to such destructive behavior, which helps nobody and only fuels more anger. Mighty, mighty, welcome in. Thank you for being here on Kick. I appreciate you. Uh, shame on the venue's staff. I, I agree. I agree. Like, but, but again, check it, right? Like, you're talking about people who are working low-wage 
uh, in cities that probably are charging too much for rent. They're probably struggling. They're probably live with their parents because they can't fucking even afford to live on their own. And they see that modest Yahoo and they, you know, they're in these forums, right on, on Reddit. And, and they're, they're, they're reading about all the, the wrongdoings. Uh, I have no chat. <laughs> you do. Oh, you don't have a chat. Uh, you got to look. Well, how are you writing, Mighty Mighty, if you have no chat? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, not for that. Uh, for making a boycott for political reasons. Right. I'm saying that there that you have some people who probably aren't winning in life and they're like, this is how I can get a win. I can create a situation where a uh, internationally known artist is able to is not going to be able to spread his words of hate. I don't have a problem with people boycotting. I don't have a problem with people protesting. I do have a problem with this idea that we can just shut down conversations and sh try to shut down like like people who shout down speakers at colleges, right? Like that. That's what the brown shirts used to do in Nazi Germany, right? Like they would go and shout down people at universities who were speaking out against Nazism. Like I, I find it just un-American. I find it fucking disgusting. But I'm all about protesting. I'm all about uh, free speech. And I'm all about peaceful protest. I mean, it, 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 it to me, um, you know, the idea of trying to make sure that the, 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 you can't express ideas is the most anti-American thing that we could do to one another. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I think it makes sense. So to my fans in Santa Fe and Tucson, I am sorry you were denied a show. I love you all. My band and I will be back. We will not respond to hate with more hate. We will be together again. We will make music together again. We will sing together again one day soon. Manas Yahoo. I think so too, especially if others were offered to work and they rejected. The right. Well, that was the thing, right? The, 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 um, the venue succumbed to the, to, to these radical, uh, people who ended up being their staff, right? They're the, <laughs> And again, it's their right to not show up for work. It's their right to not do it. I, I disagree. I mean, you're paid to do a fucking job, do your job. Um, but I guess there comes that point where, you know, you have, a, a, we can bring it back to the Nazis again. You have people who are saying I was just following orders and, you know, there's a fine line. Um, Manus Yahoo, by going out and singing songs and, and showing support for Israel is not is not something that we need to to be worried about like Mazyahu is not directly murdering Palestinians right or, or that's not what that's not what's happening um I just think it's 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 just kind of a gross way to do it but again it's their right to do it and I support that I support anybody's right to pro protest peacefully too because it's not like they came and showed up with and firebombed the venue right although those kinds of threats may have been uh, put on these venues, right? Like someone could have called, if you let Mars Yahoo play, we'll firebomb you. So anyways, uh, sort of let's uh, now Mars Yahoo has been doing some interviews. And uh, let's check out some interviews that Mars Yahoo has been doing over here. So what do you think happened here? Um, I think... Um Pretty much, you know, that, that basically what happened. There are some protesters that didn't want me to perform. Okay, so here we go. The show was canceled over security concerns. Now, I don't know if they're saying security concerns because there was, you know, maybe a bomb threat or something, or if they're saying they didn't have security <laughs> because of what they said previously, where, uh, it, where they were saying that there were security reasons because they didn't have security staff, even though Maz Yahoo was like, hey, we'll pay for security, we'll pay for staff, um, they they still refused, so I'm not sure. Right, yeah, right? He, he's getting older, Robbie. He's getting older. We're all getting older here. And uh, the venue, rather than standing up to them, sort of just seems like they agreed with them. And we're happy to cancel the concert without even letting anyone from me or my team know. I mean, we drove from Austin, Texas in a tour bus. You know how many hundreds of miles that is? Got there, set up, 
played a sound check. We're there all day. There was no issues. There was no people in the parking lot protesting or anything like that. I took my kids inside to the museum, you know, and then as I'm walking outside right before the VIP, one of the fans says, is your show canceled? Like, no, my show's not canceled. I know nothing about that. And sure enough, they didn't even bother to mention it to us. And show was canceled. And you saw the pictures. There's maybe 10 protesters out there. You're telling me that a, a venue that's used to having rock concerts and stuff that has a security team can't handle 10 protesters? To me, that seems pretty far-fetched. Do you think this is... I do, too. I do, too. If people act up, Maza, Yahoo will jump right on their head. <laughs> He's going to do a Super Mario. <laughs> Pizza man. <laughs> oh. Prayers for Pizza Man. Beautiful, naked, big-titted women just don't fall out of the sky, you know? Uh, all right. This is anti-Semitism, or do you think it's just general fear? I definitely think it's anti-Semitism. And a lot of people are using Zionism, anti-Zionism as a sort of like a thing that they mask over anti-Semitism with. But um, there's no question in my mind what this is. Now, there have been some of the protesters have been trashing you publicly, right? <laughs> I mean, you get the Santa fans for justice for Palestine. You know, in Santa fans for justice for Palestine. That is not even a good name. I'm sorry. Get a better name, assholes. Uh, bro, I was Goomba that day. <laughs> Piece of it. Yo. Maz Yahoo don't play with it, man. He, he fucking, he'll go Mario on that ass. Again, he's using the word anti-Semitism. And um, I don't know if that's what it is. I don't think that the... I don't know, obviously. There's no way of knowing. It's speculation. But I don't believe that th that most people are going to be like, gosh darn Jews. You know, like... Uh, it, it literally is just pressure from protest, right? It's literally pro pressure from these organizations who go out and make a fuss, ma rise a bunch of, uh, ra rise a stink, raise a stink, raise a stink online, and then the venue just sort of succumbs to pressure. Succumbing to pressure, I don't believe, is anti-Semitic, but uh, especially if there is safety concerns. But I can see how people think it think it is. Um, you know, like they're a music venue. They're not a fucking political stance, right? They're not like a political organization. They're just a music venue who just, who, it's a business. It's a place of business. They're not out there. Uh, some days we are all the Goombas in this world. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Robbie. It is how it goes sometimes. Um, Insulting you, saying you're Islamophobic, um, et cetera and saying that, you know, the organization is supposed to be about equity and inclusivity. Ugh, equity. <sighs> I'm all about equality, but this equity shit is wild. Uh, he's transphobic. He He's transphobic? <laughs> Wait, say, Manus Yahoo is transphobic? How did we get... See, again, you got to look at these terms, right? Transphobic. When did Manus Yahoo become transphobic? I don't know how that happened. I don't know. But you got to watch out for these words because they're only putting these words out because for some people they'll see this uh, they'll see this 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 press release and be like I didn't know that Maz Yahoo was a transphobe and an Islamophobe you know what fuck him I will never support him again because there are people who do think like that there are people who just see it in in written down and they don't they, they stop there they don't research it they don't find out why they're calling him islamophobic or transphobic they just are are accepting it as what it is uh, and that's the intention. Exactly, Primo. Uh, I think it is a bunch of BS they have security. I agree. 10 pro-Palestinian protesters they're they're fine and they're doing peaceful protests it, it's not like they were waving guns and bombs around they're just probably young kids again these are probably people who have nothing better to do other than to go out and fucking fuck up a show right i i'm not, I'm not trying to call these people losers but when you see the type of people who are out there protesting in these sort of situations you see a lot of people who look <laughs> they look like they don't got shit going on, man. They, uh, anyways, uh, 
hey, shout out to the peaceful protesters out there. If you're keeping it peaceful, I don't care what you're supporting. I, I, just, it, it, I, I appreciate people who are exercising their right to protest peacefully. And that's fine. You know, like if someone wanted to protest me, cool, whatever. Keep it peaceful. Don't try to fight with my family. You know, like don't be violent. And it's fine. I don't care. It's it's what people's it's people's right to do that. And they're out there in the middle of the day. Like, don't you have a fucking job? <laughs> Sorry. I hate that. Uh, I hate that about this world. People write things on Twitter and social media and then they get retweets and run with it. And then people take them as facts. And then even if they try to write uh, write a later, rea later reaction, those don't get the retweets and no one ever sees them. Right. And it just gets buried in the yeah, in, in the, the malaise of of traffic that goes on on these social uh networks and you know it'll make news right it'll make headlines and then the the everything else doesn't make headlines so all you're left with is that Manas Yahoo is a transphobe islamophobe who hates fucking palestine right he doesn't like equity or inclusion <laughs> that's social media it's not all of it right social media is completely amazing um <laughs> <laughs> the shit that you see like the ninja turtle guy falling the big dude who f jumped in the crowd and they didn't catch him it's i mean that's amazing he's from another planet i hear yes he is uh so this is what the report the santa fe reporter who printed uh, this this statement made by the justice for santa fe and santa fans for justice in palestine uh, they they reported he's a transphobic, he's Islamophobic, and Meow Wolf is an organization that talks about equity and inclusivity. I didn't think we thought we could actually get the show canceled, so it feels like a really important win in Santa Fe that hate speech was not given a platform. Hate speech. Fucking hate speech. Because he is talking, because he, because he doesn't agree with them completely, and that's the fucking hypocrisy of it all, right? It's like you don't agree with me. These are the type of people who put raccoons and black conservatives uh, 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 feeds on social media, right? The, you you'll see like these people who are fucking. If you see if you if there's like a black dude who supports Trump, you have these white liberals who come in and write fucking uh, you support a racist and then drop a raccoon in there and just be just as fucking racist as what they're claiming this person to be. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Hate speech. Hate speech. Because Manas Yahoo supports his own fucking people. Get the fuck out of here. It's fucking losers. <laughs> I don't want to call them losers. They're fucking losers. Uh, yeah, it's frustrating why I try to keep politics out of my social media posts. Why my podcast slogan is DC Sports without the politics. I put my thoughts out there in the past and they got uh, they got brought to my boss and I had to take them down even if they were on my private social media. So never again. That's why I'm not on social media with any of my coworkers, I don't want to know them on social media. They'll never know me on social media. I don't even go by Mike at work. Okay. So like <laughs> they never know this account can still watch you because <laughs> you're not in Korea, Ziggy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Korea. What the fuck's going on with Twitch in Korea right now? That's wild. Maybe it's until midnight tonight. Or no, it's past midnight. Oh, no, no, no. It, it's just started. Your day just started over there. So, I don't know, Ziggs. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, I, I keep all my personal life. Nobody at work knows that I do a podcast. Nobody knows that I do any kind of streaming. Nobody knows anything really that personal about me. Twitch says it's too expensive. Yeah, that's what they say. Uh, and, and and then they'll... <laughs> And then they'll, you know, demote, demote, um, uh, wait, wait, they demoted, oh my God, who are the checkmark people? The people with check marks on Twitch, they are partners. They'll demote partners uh, to, to giving them 50% of pay. And then you have to work for super partner or whatever the fuck they call it. Right. Because they just can't afford it because they're assholes. 
Uh, but hey, Twitch has done a lot out here. Uh, too funny. I tried to gift a sub. It won't let me. Uh, I don't friend many of them either, but I guess my Trump post talking shit might have been public and a friend of a friend, I guess, brought it to her. That's so stupid. This account is actually made in Korea. <laughs> made in Korea. Uh, yeah, Robbie, it, it's just... Uh, that's why, like, all my stuff is under uh, We Speak English Good, and anything else is under Mike EP. And even that, I barely post on those things because I, I just don't, I don't, I just don't want to engage as myself anymore like that. It's easier for me to be an organization who's semi faceless and just puts out my ideas, my thoughts, and I don't have to worry about my fucking family members. Or anybody else, which I do have family members who say, what are you talking about? But, you know, I don't have to worry about people from work. And I don't talk about it. I don't talk about when I'm out and about. It's just something I do. I can't believe you don't go by Mike at work. That's wild. No, I don't go by Mike at work. I go by my government name. My well, my first name. Mike is my government name. Sometime offline, I will have to know your fake work name. <laughs> It's not fake. It's my actual name. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to this video. So, of course, Maz Yahoo is now Hitler. <laughs> there you go, everybody. Fuck, it's espousing hate speech. Uh, Maz Yahoo out here doing it big. I didn't think we uh, could actually get the show canceled. So it really feels like an important win in Santa Fe that hate speech was not given a platform. Hate speech. Your response. Well, it's interesting. These very people that are claiming that are outside my tour bus, where I have little children on the bus, screaming from the river to the sea, mm. which is a call for all mm. Jews to be murdered that are in Israel. Um, and then they're, then they're pointing the finger at me, saying that I'm someone who supports genocide. When inside my show, you've got Muslim and Jewish people with their arms around each other singing one day we'll We'll have peace. So these people don't know anything about me. They've never been to one of my shows. And they're just uh, obviously upset and want someone to take it out on. And the fact that I support Israel and support support the Jewish people having a homeland, you know, is their reason, I guess, you know. But the, the, let's be clear, though. that That's such a good point that he's making. This whole, like, from the river to the sea. Oh, my God. Have you guys seen the the one dude walking around asking people what the, from the river to the sea? Oh no no, they asked from what river to what sea, and they're just like um, uh, the Dead Sea, uh, the Mississippi. <laughs> uh, it, it's crazy. Like these people don't even fucking know what they're saying. They don't even understand what they're saying. They don't even understand what's going on. They just, like, I remember the one girl was saying, oh, somebody just gave me the sign and I'm here in support of Palestine. And it's great. You could be in support of Palestine, but you should know what the fuck you're saying. You should know that you are calling for genocide yourself. You should really know what river and what sea that they're talking about. Uh I hope he's been reported to the anti uh, uh sometime. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, there is no, there is so much lack of information about the slogan from the river to the sea. I've had friends use the term and not understand it. They were liking, we just want freedom from the river to the sea. No, it's not that. It's not just that, right? It's not what it means to the Muslim community, right? To the, to, especially in the Middle East, right? Because because it's not just Gaza and the West Bank that doesn't like Israel, right? They're surrounded by enemies. <laughs> Israel is surrounded by enemies. So it's not just the Palestinians. And when that shit is being said, it's meant, right? Like they don't, they're not fucking around, <laughs> Muslims don't fuck around, son. They are very, and neither do the Israelis. I gotta say, they do not fuck around either. Like they, they're, they're. I mean, they're just two factions of like just hard people who decide to make a life in the desert. So, hey, hey, hey. It's like our sea to shining sea. Hey, I like, I like sea. Thank you for that. Uh, Ziggy, thank you so much for gifting Primo that gifted sub. I appreciate you. 
Yeah, fuck you, Twitch Korea. <laughs> Using a VPN to give subs works. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ziggy. I appreciate you, but not without VPN. Well, that's so weird. It's so weird how they got that set up. But thank you very, very much. Um, yeah, it, it, it's wild. It's wild when you see these misdirected, misinformed people. Again, I don't like the idea that there's almost 40,000 people being murdered, that you know a good part of those people had nothing to do with October 7th. Uh, I don't like seeing dead babies being pulled out of rubble. It's awful. I'm here for peace. I'm here for peace. Let's just talk peace. Let's not fucking talk about eliminating entire groups of people. Ugh, it's it's fucked up. And I think that uh, Manas Yahoo said it perfectly is that, um, you know, he has empathy for both sides, which is very possible. It's very much possible to have empathy for both sides of this situation. It's it's a fucking very complicated situation. Oh, thank you so much for that shout out, Robbie. Appreciate you doing that. Page wasn't loading for a while either. That's so weird. Ziggy in Korea. Come on, man. You support Israel in the way that a lot of Americans support Israel, just in the sense that you're saying they have a right to defend themselves. You have not gotten into the specifics of the politics of Netanyahu, et cetera, have you? Never. I've never gotten into politics at all in my life. Um, um, I view myself as a musician, I, I and I know. view music as a powerful tool to bring people together as an instrument of peace and love and understanding. And that's always what it's been for me at my shows. And it's always been the the multitude of fans and people that come out to my shows. So yeah, it is true that I support the Jewish people having a homeland, you know? So that's, that's, that's what it means for me yeah. to be Zionist. This is outrageous, I gotta tell you. Uh, Matis Yahoo, look, good luck with everything. Um, we'll be continuing to follow you. Uh, I hope that the next couple of venues uh, won't cave uh, the way these did. Fucking venues. Uh, yeah, with our tax money. Mur <laughs> Murdering people with our tax money. That That's the that, that's the best part of all this, isn't it? It's like that we're, we, no matter what, if you pay taxes in this country, no matter what side you're on, you're supporting the death and destruction that's going on. <sighs> Uh, in Israel and in, in, in Palestine and Gaza and the West Bank and in Ukraine and Russia. Uh, what is, what, uh, we're, fucking, are we doing the Congo still? Are we, are we supporting that as well? What, what other horrible, horrible conflicts are we supporting? And, you know, it, it's, again, it, it's said and said, but it's a way to extract tax dollars to support these international security firms who are fucking and here in the United States as well. We have t Boeing and, and, and fucking uh, Lockheed Martin. All these war hawks are circling and they smell money and they don't care how many people die as long as they're rich, as long as they get their bonus. As long as they can sell more missiles and sell more fucking weapons of mass destruction, is they don't care how many people die, and they don't care what side wins or doesn't win. It doesn't matter. It, it what it comes down to is how much profit are they going to gain this next quarter? And boy, profits are good. <laughs> profits are real good, baby. Uh, that that's what I thought he said. You support Israel like most Americans. Oh, is that what he said? Um, I, I, I don't think he said that. I, I don't know what he said. What, we can go back and look, actually. I can see why he's upset about this, uh, but this is why I don't vote in protest. No matter who wins, the war machine wins. Exactly. Exactly. But I do suggest people to vote. I would say to, but if you don't want to support like the president and shit, I get that because we don't have good options. There's never good options for president. I would say if you are going to vote, Vote local. Hold those sons of bitches uh, accountable now so they can't stumble upward as they normally do, like Kamala Harris. Like, no one wanted her as president. <laughs> Yet that lady just stumbled upward into vice presidency. Nobody wanted that woman. That's why you got to hold these people accountable now. Hold them accountable while they're on a local level so they don't get to keep stumbling upward and, and just... 
become they basically become property of of uh, of of the a corporate interest, right? They they have no real opinion about anything other than whoever's paying them. And then they have an opinion. Uh it's only like 20 seconds back. Yeah, we'll go we'll look back at it. Uh that's all uh in, inconsequential in this context. Yes, but I'm just saying in, in, it, it is consequential in, in the idea that if we hold people accountable on a local level, they can't go on to be just terrible leaders who are just taking money and, and, and fucking, you know, becoming the vice president. This is terrible. I'm back. <laughs> mighty, mighty. Welcome. Welcome to Twitch. Uh, all right. Let's, let's see what he said. I don't think most Americans support Israel, though. It's for me yeah. to be Zionist. This is outrageous, I got to tell you. Uh, Matis Yahoo, look, good luck with everything. Um, we'll be continuing to follow. Gotten into the specifics of the politics. Port Israel. Reason, I guess, you know. But the, the, let's be clear, though. You support Israel in the way that a lot of Americans support Israel, just in the sense that you're saying they have a right to defend themselves. You Okay, yeah, so he's saying a lot of a lot of Americans, not all Americans or most Americans. There is a lot of Americans. I'm I'm one of them. I'm one of those Americans who who support Israel's right to live, right? A and to exist. I, I I completely I'm down with that. But I also think that there needs to be some kind of coexisting with their neighbors and maybe not encroach on their shit, right? <laughs> Under federal supremacy, all state and local officials are essentially vassal. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. I get you. But th those people start somewhere, right? Joe Biden didn't just start out as a president of the United States. He started out as a local congressman and then worked his way up, right, through, through the Senate and then fucking vice president and then became fucking Grandpa Joe, the president of the United States. Uh, so there is, it, it, it is, it is important again that we hold these fuckers responsible and we elect the leaders uh, that we that actually are going to work for the people which i don't know that's very hard to find in these days for sure but it's not it's really not our business except for all the interests that are involved lobby our government yes uh and and that's why i'm all about <laughs> not supporting these wars these forever wars that's why i'm just like hey we got a bunch of fucking homeless people that that fucking need a place to live we got fucking crumbling uh crumbling neighborhoods that have been garbage for the last 80 years we have fucking you know there's there's cities in this country that can't even have that don't have clean drinking water we we have we have migrants who are displacing the poor people in these big cities to make room for them when they don't even have a, a ground to stand on. So yeah, fuck these interventionist proxy wars that we find ourselves in, finding ourselves supporting. Congress never fucking approved of this. That's my whole shit, man. I'm not I'm I'm not into this interventionist po uh, interventionist proxy bullshit man like i'm all about let's take care of america and if we have time maybe we'll think about other people i don't know it, it's it, it's that uh segregation is that what it's called segre not segregation isolationist I, I you know i'm sure there is uh, important times to intervene right but we are so divided as a country in the united states i'm talking that we're so divided. The infrastructure is outdated, antiquated it, it, power structure. Uh, I'm talking about like, you know, uh, electricity and, and how we, uh, uh, our, our water system and stuff. These, 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 uh, the, the infrastructure is so out of date. Like we're not even trying to update shit. We just had a, a, um, you know, like the other day, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile all fucking went down and no one wants to say it's a cyber attack or they want to call this sun flare or maybe AI took over, right? We we have all these problems that are fucking with us now that I, I, we have so much spending. We're just printing money that doesn't really exist. It's a fiat currency. There's so many problems here in America. 
it's just crazy to think that we can dump and print a bunch of money to go fight these wars that we have, you know, in some ways we have some shit to do with. But at this point, we need to just figure out what we got going on here. Uh, let me see. It And it uh, totally, but the MIC won't let it go. And it seems a dim chance that voting local will shut down the war machine. Yeah, you might be right, but you got to start somewhere. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you got to like... E it's, it, it, I understand that people have lost complete faith in, in this system. I do, because I don't have faith in our president. I don't have faith in our Congress. I don't have faith in our Senate to make the right decisions to represent people. But I do know that I can um, support a local school uh, and fund a local school and library so that future generations, we might raise future generations that may go on to do something better. You know what I mean? I can, I can support, you know, our local parks so people can go and be healthy and move on and lead, you know, like there's all kinds of things that connect. When we say them, we're saying us this is what we got to remember. Uh, mad people called 911 911 to see if they could. <laughs> uh, historically, voting voting boycotts have been um, the only peaceful means of change in regime. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Ironically, in a few of those cases, the U.S. intervened in lawful re-elections. <sighs> Look at us go. Uh, so. Mas Yahoo is over here doing it up. I want to see his closing statement here. I'm a Jewish um, uh, rap and reggae star because I agree with you. I think that's what this is about. And it's a real yeah, shame. Everyone should, have a ch everyone should have a chance to express themselves through art, you know? To cancel someone's art because you don't agree with their politics or something like that is just, it's too far, you know? It's too far. It's not American. Matsis Yahoo, thanks very much for coming on the program. Thank Appreciate you. it. Look forward to continuing to listen to you. Um, News Nation, they're, 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 uh, are they Cuba and Haiti? Cuba and Haiti are examples. Well, we've had a stressful history with Cuba, haven't we? We didn't like, and you know, the idea of stopping communism that ended up becoming a whole nother way for the war machine to go on. And I don't know, man, it, it's uh, there's a lot. It's a lot. And I understand where you're coming from. I, I just, uh, I'm just a firm believer in local elections. I don't think national elections really mean shit. Now, um, TMZ also hit up. What's his face here? Uh, Modest Yahoo. And uh, let's see what he had to say to TMZ, which is very funny that TMZ is like, what are you, what is going on, Modest Yahoo? Why, why the, the subways rather than venues? And wait, I think he's smoking weed over here. <laughs> Modest Yahoo for president. <laughs> Look at Modest Yahoo fucking over here just smoking weed, talking to that TMZ. Because of the show cancellation? Yeah, they did cancel my show. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to say is like, you could cancel my show, but I will perform. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I'll, I'll perform right here. What does that say? Temple. Yeah. I'll perform in front of the temple. I you know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'll perform in front of the temple. You just you just want to bring peace to people out here, bring a message? What's your Love. <laughs> Vermin Love. Supreme. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Ha has the club that Love and actually just... We have to we have to figure out what's going on right now because we have hostages that are being held in tunnels in Gaza, women, children that are still being held, yeah. four-year-olds yeah. that are being held in captivity, four-year-old hostage might be dead, might not be, might be alive. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Where is everybody? We 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 have a problem with kidnappers. You could kidnap a child. Put him in a fucking basement, not feed him, possibly rape them, and it's not okay. But for some reason, it's okay when Hamas does it to the Jewish people. Why is that? Because motherfuckers don't like Jews. Fuck you. We will fucking win. Yeah. I, 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 
message. You think the Nazis? You think you have something on the Nazis? They were the most organized motherfuckers in the world. Did we fucking win? Yes. You think you have something on the Inquisitors in, Sp in Spain in fucking 1942? 1492? Nope. You think you have something on the Russians? The pogroms? You, the entire history of the Jewish people. You motherfuckers think you have something on us? Wrong. Wrong. What do you want to see from like people that really can't take action? The government? Fucking learn some shit, bro. <laughs> this is... <laughs> By the way, this is like, this is like the conversations that like stoners, man, fuck, bro. Like, these are like the level of conversations stoners have with each other. But like, you know, hey, again, um, the Israelis are a fierce group of people. Um, I think it's funny that people, when they think of Jews, they think of like the, the, the American quintessential idea like like woody woody uh woody harold uh, woody woody what the fuck's his name guys woody not woody harrelson woody allen jesus you know they think of some like small neurotic guy they don't see like israeli forces and like krab maga and shit they don't see none of that stuff He's making some very strong statements here, man. And, you know, like, I, I'm guessing that it's out of, uh, you know, passion and belief in the, the is Israel and his people. But also he's in response to people who came and shut down his shows because they don't agree with him. I applaud him, right? Like, whether whether you agree with Mas Yahoo or not. You have to applaud him in the fact that he's standing up for something that he believes in. He's not afraid to say it. He's not kowtowing to these fucking, these organizations who put pressure on people to say what they want and force people to say things because the, you know, they're going to protest him or shut him down. I can't stand that shit. I respect people who say it how it is. Like, they, this, like that's how he fucking feels. And whether it's out of anger... Or, or, or real support for for Israel, which I believe it's both. It's fucking, it's real. It's real. Like, and I can't stand these people who, like these celebrities who just say whatever the, oh God, like. You guys remember when all those assholes, all those celebrities did um, uh, Imagine and <laughs> and everybody clowned on them? Because they could tell it was disingenuous. They could tell that they were just doing shit because that's the trend in Hollywood. Or that's, you know, because these these different places, like Hollywood and New York, they have very left-leaning policies and stuff. And that's what's so interesting. Uh, not policies, but they have left-leaning ideologies. And if you don't play ball, you get cast out of the club. Uh, I find it interesting on how the left is so divided over this this war in the Middle East, you know, like uh, to to see <laughs> to see Roger Waters and Bono going after each other. Well, Roger Waters is going after Bono uh, because of what he said about Israel. Uh, but, you know, to see these regularly left leaning people divide over this now it's just like it just keeps getting cut in half cut in half and that's the problem with going all in on any subject not knowing anything about it not having any sort of nuanced understanding of the situation is that you end up getting mauled with the crowd because you said the wrong fucking thing oh you said one thing that i don't agree with he's out he's fucking out you know it's it's ridiculous we used to be able to have conversations, and now if you say something that someone doesn't agree with, you're out. And it's like that's so stupid. It, it's it's not progressive, right? You don't. There's no progress in not talking to each other. It it's just it, it's very stupid, and and it feels by design. And I'll say it over and over again: fucking divide and conquer, divide and conquer. Let's catch up with Chad, y'all. Um, I'm happy he's willing to talk to media stoned out of his mind. Most would be like, no thing. <laughs> well, this is his life, right? Like, this is, he's a reggae artist. So he's high as fuck. You, you, if you got to smoke, if you got to smoke with the Jamaicans, man, you got, you got to have, you got to have your shit together. You got to have your shit together, bro. 
Even Snoop Dogg is like the Jamaicans, bro. They smoke. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, I saw the other day an article about Palestinians that were protesting Hamas. Yeah, of course. For stirring up shit, I guess. Uh, as they should. They honestly giving Palestinians a bad name. I have a yellow belt and crop. Oh, that's cool. That's tight. You could probably kick my ass for sure. It matches your username. <laughs> there you go. The yellow belt. Um... Uh, uh, you gotta say hi. They all lean forward for money. So much free, so much for freedom of speech. <laughs> just echo chambers. Yeah, like nobody wants. I just had someone talking shit to me on YouTube, which I, you know, like, is bitch. Like, if you don't like what my channel says, like, there is a million other channels that you can go and find that. They'll agree, you, you can agree with every sentiment that comes out of their fucking mouths. Get the fuck out of here. Like, if you don't have to come here. You don't even have to write this message to me. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care if you don't agree with me, assholes. It's just what's happening. Like, you're gonna have to deal with what... If you're here and you don't like what I'm saying, take your fucking happy ass over to another channel that will fucking coddle your balls and fucking make sure no one's feelings will get hurt because that's just not it's just not what this is it's not what i'm doing here i don't care if you don't like what i'm saying move on kick rocks fuck off glad i got my shit together <laughs> adult temper tantrum yo it shit gets real I mean, people talk shit on YouTube comes with the territory. I love saving my stuff there, but I, often I consider just taking the comic set. <laughs> yeah. My takeaway from all this so far is damn Miles Yahoo looks old. And fuck now. <laughs> oh, I don't go live there. Uh, I felt like an orphan. Oh, mighty mighty. Sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, well, I, I get that, right? I get that YouTube has sort of this toxic community built into it, but I just... I'm not I'm not going to sit there and, and kowtow to that. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize to anybody for it. And I hope that Maz Yahoo never apologizes for what he said. Again, whether you agree with him or not, fuck, you got to give him give him a little credit for having balls enough to express it because there's so many people who don't want to express how they really feel out of judgment from others. And that is no way to live it's you can't just sit there and fucking live according to how other people think you should live it's stupid and unproductive and you're never gonna live your truth and if that's what everybody's trying to do is live their truth well live your fucking truth baby all right play bitch bro fucking open your mind read a fucking book <laughs> Fucking millennials make me sick. <laughs> Read a fucking book. Yeah. <laughs> ah, millennials make me sick. <laughs> it's our fault. It is our fault that this shit's fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. That is funny. That is really funny. You're reading one now? <laughs> right now, bro. I'm on it. I'm reading. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miles Yahoo. It really is the millennials' fault, though. It really is. I mean, you know, the Gen X, uh, the boomers, you know, I, I, I get that there gets a lot, they get a lot of shit, right? But the millennials are really the ones who are just like, we got to coddle everyone so no one feels offended. And it's like, being offended is not a defense. Being offended is not an argument. I'm I'm sorry you feel bad, but that is not an argument. And when it comes to like real world shit here, no one gives a fuck about your feelings. Uh, I some people do, I guess. Does that say gelato festival behind? <laughs> it does, and it looks like it's an installed sign. <laughs> I'm gonna go down to the gelato festival. Wait, there's a festival downtown? No, it's just the name of a gelato place. No matter, uh, no matter, he is visiting that cornerstone. Yes, he's the cornerstone of that cornerstone. Okay, I don't, I don't think that made sense. That's okay though. Read a fucking, read that fucking history. Learn some fucking history, bro. He's all high. Let's see, I remember when we used to see. Good friends we've had, good cousins. 
<laughs> Yo, and big ups, dude. Big ups to um Ladies and gentlemen. I still got I still want to watch that one. The Shane Gillis on SNL. Big ups to to uh Maz Yahoo for even playing and expressing himself <laughs> himself, right? Um big up to him. I, I I absolutely respect the fuck out of that. What does this set shirt say? 70? That is all he, he needs a fine Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he does, right? That Jude needs to find Jesus. <laughs>